Hey guys, welcome back. We are now going to move on to the next um, part of our crocheted purse, which is attaching the handles. And as you see, I bought the oval handles. I like those a lot better. And they are bamboo. And I did attach one already. So basically all you're going to do at this point is you want to make sure you have it on the right side. And that's what your little uh, strand of yarn here was for that um, it told us to leave a decent amount. So now what you're going to do is you're going to want to place this. Make sure that you're doing it the right way. Okay, so that's the outside. This is going to be the inside. So you're going to place... You're going to turn this over here. You're going to place your handle right here. You're going to take this seventh row, and it may be a little tight, but that's fine. That's what you want. And you're going to attach that to your first row right here. Sorry about that. Your first row of where you started your decreasing. Okay, so basically, you're going to start sewing that. See if I can arrange this right so you can see. Oops, start that side. So you're going to connect that right here. So you're going to hold it a little bit at a time. Let me see if I can get you viewed in here a little closer. Okay. So you're going to start with your first stitch here. And you're going to apply it to the first stitch there on that first row and you're just going to pull through. I think I've got a little knot there. There we go. Okay. You want to pull that snug. And of course you get a lot of wiggle room here until you get it all situated. Alright. So then you'll just work that across. You'll go in each stitch around. Want to make sure you're pulling that tight. Well, that didn't work out, did it? I didn't go in the other side. For some reason I got a knot in my work. So basically, you're just going to go in and out. You're going to um, go into each stitch until you use up this whole strand of yarn. And what I did on the other side was I used the whole entire piece even if I had to go back across I still um, used it so you're gonna go under here next and you're gonna come up through the next stitch make sure you get both of those loops there okay so that's what you're gonna do and you're gonna make sure that it's tight so then you'll go into your next stitch available and it'll be loose until you get it all worked in there and then you can position it as you need so basically this is all you're going to do is you're going to come up go through your next available stitch there okay and you're going to do that all the way across you're going to make sure that you get all all the way to the end and this is going to fold over be nice and snug okay so this is a little hard to do on camera so I'm going to have to go off camera and complete mine and I want you to do the same so once we have both completed that then we'll come back and we'll work on our sides okay guys I've got both handles attached now we're going to be working on our sides I am using a contrasting pink from Red Heart what you have to do is measure two to three inches below your handles. You want to join going through both sides. Then you're going to do a chain one. As soon as I can get my hand coordination here. Okay, so you want to chain one. And then what you're just going to do is you're just going to single crochet all the way across in each stitch okay so you're just now going to go all the way down make sure your stitches line up I'm going to make sure to get it snug 
and then you're just going to do this down both sides of your bag and once that's completed you have the option of decorating this with a flower or anything else so you know how to single crochet I'm gonna leave that up to you to complete so I did the flower that is on the pattern as well which is here this is your flower pattern I do not have a video for that yet but I will do one but this is what it looks like I just sewed a button in the center and then what I'm gonna do is attach it to the bag okay so you can choose any type of decoration you want you can line your bag if you like I will not be lining this bag uh, I'm not going to be carrying a whole lot of stuff in this bag. The yarn that I have used for it is very soft. I, I don't want to take a chance of it bending out of proportion with heavier items. So, you know, us women, we get carried away with our pocketbooks. So, you go ahead and complete that. And as soon as I have my flower and my ends done, I'll come back and show you the final uh, product. So... Happy hooking guys and I'll be back shortly with the finishing. Okay guys, this is the final video of our red heart pattern for our crocheted purse. It is finally complete and I am so super happy. I'll have to slide that down a little bit. Okay, so this is the outcome. That's my sides. And another little hint, I did not sew this on. I used a pin about that big and just pinned it on that way if I choose to want to put it in a different location I can take it off without any hassle also if you choose that you maybe want to change it to a brown flower that's in here or a cream or even a lighter pink you have that option just pin it on there and go uh, if you don't want a flower that day take the flower off and go it's your choice um, this is the inside and then this is what it looks like I am so happy and this is for me so I did it in my colors that I enjoy in my flower so I hope you guys enjoy this video and until um, oh and one more thing this pattern was uh, picked because I also had a viewer that requested a bag similar to this so I hope she sees this video I'm sorry I can't uh, I think it was Jackie I'm not sure don't quote me but Jackie if it was you this is the one that I picked to demonstrate um, so this is my weekly pattern Wednesday for this Wednesday Please leave me feedback if you um, liked it, if you didn't like it, anything of the sort, I'm fine with it. And if you have any further questions, just leave me questions or comments, guys. Until my next video, have a happy hooking day, everybody.